So last week I bought my first bandsaw. This is a 1992 model, 14 inch, three quarter horsepower motor bandsaw. Um, it's all cast, it's really solid, it's really heavy. So there's a few things I need to make for it. There's a few modifications I want to do to it. I really don't know much about bandsaws at all other than what I've learned off YouTube from other creators. So this is all pretty new to me when it comes to the bearings and the guide blocks and everything. So I'm going to do my best to try and tune this as well as I can. And we're going to build a mobile base. We're going to change a few things, make a bigger table. I'm really lucky that the previous owner actually drilled and tapped some holes into the base so I can attach a larger table pretty securely. First things first, let's get this bandsaw on a mobile base because this thing is incredibly heavy to move around my small shop. If you watched my previous video of making a fold-out workbench, I'm going to be using the same screws. These are roofing screws, much like miniature coach bolts without the price. So you can buy a box of 50 of those for about 10 bucks. So these are really good for shop furniture. I'm definitely going to be using these a lot more for anything around the shop. So this is what I come up with. I've got a support piece in the middle. The band saw is going to sit on this piece and the rear piece. I had to make these wider to obviously accommodate the flip stop for the wheels, but I could actually use this piece and build off it for like a cabinet or something. So that piece there, I could um, turn for dust collection. So now we're going to get the bandsaw on the base and it's bloody heavy and I'm only a skinny dude. So let's see how this works. So this would have obviously been a lot easier if I had someone to help me, but there was nobody home at the time. Also again, I'm going to be improving my video and audio recording very soon. I'm just trying to save up a bit for some um, good microphones. So yeah, there's going to be some great changes coming to this channel. I'm adding some scrap wood on each side just to prevent the bandsaw from moving under vibrations or when I move the unit. I certainly wanted a larger cutting space for this bandsaw, seeing as I'm going to be making quite a lot of circles for this when I do my dust collection and various other things. So I'm just using a sheet of plywood and I had some leftover stains so I thought I might as well rub some of that on, at least it'll give it some contrast when I record the videos. This next piece, unfortunately I didn't get much video of it or photos, but what I'm doing is cutting a thin strip of plywood and putting a slot straight through it. This is for, I guess you'd call it a protection plate that was on the left hand side of the bandsaw. There was an MDF one that the previous owner put one on, but I didn't really like it so I thought I'd just cut up a new piece out of plywood. So I glued up all the pieces and I put a coat of finish on them. I also pre-drilled the holes for the mounting. Now I can route a slot for the miter track. This has to be a little bit closer to the blade than I would have hoped for, but I've got some mounting holes here and a few screw holes on the side. So I'm gonna place that around there. Then I've got this piece of scrap wood, which I'm gonna glue to the underside for some extra support. So I'm happy I only used a 12 millimeter router bit here because I did end up using the Rockler T-Tracks, which because it's the T, you can actually put screw clamps on it. So I'm really happy I didn't actually use the miter tracks like I've got on the table saw or else I would not have anything to sort of hold down the workpiece. The cover can go back on and you'll notice that piece of plywood that I cut up earlier that's now attached on the left hand side of the bandsaw. So 
gives a, a little bit of a better look, I think. And I've really only used the bandsaw for like 20 minutes before recording this video. Obviously, you've got those guide blocks there that are made out of steel. I definitely have to change, make some wooden ones, but I'm very inexperienced using a bandsaw, but I'm excited to use it some more in some upcoming videos for some better projects. And lastly, moving it around the workshop is a lot easier now that I made that mobile base. So um, anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching and uh, see you next time. Cheers.